Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. If you've stumbled upon this video, then I'm guessing you are a bit confused in terms of what and how to make the next step towards data science and machine learning career transition. Should you choose a full-time masters or should you choose the online courses that exist and try to make a transition into data science? In this video, I'll try to answer exactly those two points in form of simple answers that can help you decide what is best for you. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. But before we start, it would be really great if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing future data science videos that I'm going to create. Now, I'm assuming you've already done that. Let's go on to the actual content of the video. Now, the question is very simple. Should you choose a master's program or should you choose one of the online courses that help make a transition into data science and machine learning? Let me give you an answer. Uh, should I wait? I'll kind of give you an answer, but I'll kind of walk you through a basic path in terms of what are the advantages of picking one over the other. And maybe rather than giving you an answer, I would ask you a question in terms of what you feel you should go forward with. And then that will kind of help you simplify your decision in terms of choosing a master's program or choosing the online courses, which exist that you can kind of pick up as well. Let me start off by talking about the master's program that exists in the top notch universities. Uh, think of the Stanford's, think of the MIT's which exist. Uh, if you actually go on to enroll in such programs, one of the major advantages that you get upfront is you would have specific subjects for neural networks. You would be told to implement things from scratch. Uh, you would have a dedicated subject for natural language processing. So essentially what you would learn in this regress, say two year program would be a complete understanding of the basics of different fields of machine learning uh, and you would have like a hands-on experience as well given if you are implementing things from scratch given you are also putting in a lot of effort to do good amount of research in such institutes ideally you have the best in class infrastructure that is laid out in-house so you don't have to worry about memory constraints uh, you would have top-notch resources at your disposable that you can easily access uh, you can create instances, you can use GPUs at your disposable. So in terms of your learning curve, in terms of what you can experiment out, given the amount of opportunity that you've been given in such amazing institutes, uh, if you want like a pure research based approach to data science and machine learning, then a master's is highly advisable. Now, when I think of a master's as well, it is not just an isolated course that you're doing. Think of it as 60 or 100 people having the same say alignment in terms of career goals that would be also part of your classroom activities. So there would be group projects that you would undertake in such amazing institutes. Uh, you would basically be working on complex projects in a group. Uh, one person would be responsible for deployment. The other one would be responsible for the data cleaning aspect. Uh, one of you might also be responsible for the actual model creation activity as well. So it's an end to end pipeline that a lot of say such institutes kind of lay focus on and uh, you kind of say end up learning much more as compared to what you could have learned in say like a short two month or a three month course as well. So one thing is there if you are ready to invest time and if you are ready to invest that amount of capital as well. Uh, assuming you've already calculated the ROI basis, what the job market is in that particular say region as well, then I think masters is always a very advisable option given if it's from a top notch institute, it adds good amount of brand value to your overall resume as well. Now, let me also discuss a situation. Say, for example, uh, you have completed your masters and all of a sudden you kind of start liking uh, natural language processing as a field. So rather than jumping directly to the industry, uh, you can also opt in for a PhD program. You can also become a pure researcher. Uh, you can spend time in researching about the advances that are happening in machine learning and uh, data science, the different fields as well. So that is my recommendation. If you have a research mindset and if you really like to understand algorithms from scratch, if you have calculated your ROI in terms of the investment that you will make, then essentially masters is always a good to have option as well. Now, is there an option or is there an edge when you kind of complete your masters or a PhD from top notch universities in terms of getting a job in data science and machine learning? Well, the answer is maybe yes, maybe no. It depends on the type of opening that you're targeting. Now, I remember for a fact that when I was kind of browsing through jobs as well, 
uh, I I kind of went through a lot of job descriptions where people have explicitly mentioned that they need a PhD holder in NLP. Uh, they need a PhD holder in say computer vision. So essentially, if there is something specific that an organization wants to work on, say for example, Facebook has an opening or Google has an opening, they would essentially want researchers to enter their team and try and come up with better models, come up with newer models that are research oriented. So uh, data science, say 95% is application oriented, but 5% is where the actual research is happening, where uh, researchers are kind of coming up with newer models, more efficient models. So if the requirement is specific to research, then ideally your masters or the PhD degree would really come in handy. So if you have the aim of entering the ML landscape and creating some amazing breakthrough using research, then ideally I would highly encourage all of you to pick up masters. Let me move on to the next point, uh, which is the advantages of online courses. Now, given uh, the amount of demand that has generated for data science job openings, given the amount of data that has been generated by organizations in a per second interval as well, uh, companies or organizations require people to come in, understand that data and say, make sense of that data and try to create a business impact using the models that they have in mind as well. So uh, all of such things are kind of gaining popularity. The number of data scientists that were required in 2016 have exponentially increased when I consider 2020. So this increase has led to greater demands and there are more people say from software engineering domain or a non-IT domain who want to put in their bit of effort in terms of understanding data science and machine learning and transitioning into a data science equivalent role. So that is where a lot of organizations want people to come in with a basic understanding or with a decent understanding of machine learning and data science. Now, there are a lot of people who are fresh out of college and there are a lot of people who have say X years of experience as well. Now say for example, a person already has five or six years of experience for him in terms of the ROI, in terms of the time he has to invest. And if he's just looking for an application oriented role in a data science organization, then ideally the online courses is something that is much more suitable for him as well. The online courses, uh, most of them on YouTube, some of them on Udacity, good amount of courses on Coursera, EDX are kind of free of cost if you're not chasing behind certificates. If you want a certificate by a name that you've completed a course along with its assignments and all of that as well, then ideally at that point of time, uh, you would have to pay a very nominal charge in terms of getting that certificate as well. But apart from that, if you uh, say think of the investment that you have to make for a master's out and out full time course as compared to uh, the online courses, I think the difference is really large in terms of the investment that you're making. So that is one of the advantages that you get when you are say aiming for an online course as well. Uh, given if you've completed online courses, depending on what courses you've picked up, you would be exposed to real data sets as well. You would also be exposed to competitive platforms like Kaggle, wherein you would participate. You would basically try to secure a rank in such amazing websites as well. So here in case of online learning as well, the onus is entirely on you in terms of how you better utilize the online resources. What do you do with the concepts that you've learned? How do you create your own portfolio? Because remember, there is no brand like a Stanford or an MIT uh, to kind of back you up uh, when you compare it to a master's program. Here you are entirely on your own. You've learned concepts. Maybe you can come up with your own fancy projects using machine learning, uh, which kind of depict the wide range of applications where ML can be adopted. And so essentially, if you are someone who is like a hustler who wants to understand topics and create prototypes or POCs or proof of concepts, then essentially uh, you can pick up online courses, learn and understand the core behind machine learning and then start implementing things from whatever you've learned. So this way you can kind of have a very good exponential growth if you pick up online courses as well. But one thing that I would like to specify is uh, don't ever assume after you complete an online course that you have mastered data science end to end. Uh, say for example, if you, if you had enrolled in a course, which was like a three month duration long course, then ideally your learning starts from that point. Uh, what do you do in the real life scenario? Uh, how do you wrangle with data? How do you convert business problems to machine learning problems is where the challenge comes in. So even after completing a course, don't just judge yourself that you're really good with say machine learning or data science concepts. 
it's an ever evolving field you'll have to keep learning but yes for a start online courses are really good uh, online courses are also good to bring you at par with decent amount of knowledge in machine learning and data science so that is what i had to share in terms of the online courses which exist right now uh, now coming to the actual question that we started off with what do you choose so i ask you a question now what do you want out of this career transition are you looking for an out and out research oriented role wherein you have exposure to the best resources that are there and you want to say create a breakthrough in natural language processing computer vision or in general you want to solve a problem using machine learning out and out using research in such a scenario i think masters is like the most suitable thing that you should opt in for uh, the roi bit is something that you'll have to figure out as well but i think uh, given if you are kind of say sincere during the course as well as after the course in say uh, working in research labs which exist for different organizations so you can expect a good amount of roi if you've completed a masters as well now coming to the online piece that is there uh, ideally if you are very keen on say transitioning and working at the application level of data science and machine learning uh, you may eventually transition into a research role as well there is no set rule that people who complete online courses cannot enter the research role but yes that will take time because the person who's completed like a full time masters would have invested close to 1 and 1/2 to 2 years in understanding concepts from the basic level itself so uh, that's the difference between like a full time masters and the online courses which are available given the cost that is associated with online courses when compared to your masters courses it's a fairly uh, say simple deal but you should be able to crack a job as well no point in investing money in something that does not return any value to you so ideally you'll have to be sincere if you choose either masters or online courses what you should pick is essentially your choice that uh, you see yourself working 5 years down the line so a lot of hr have this question that uh, where do you see yourself working 5 years down the line if you can answer that question right away and if you can say visualize what excites you more do you want to add more value to business in organizations at the application level then online courses are a good starting point uh, maybe during the course of your first job itself you realize that you're very much interested in research you can always go back to the masters piece as well if you are someone who's kind of very keen on the masters piece then again there are a lot of niche jobs which are available just for people who've completed masters and who have that sense of understanding of algorithms at the bare minimum level so that is what my recommendations are uh, i hope you found this video informative if you do like the content that i post on my channel it would be really motivating if you could click on the subscribe button and share it across with your friends as well thank you so much